John, what, what sense did you have that you know this might be a game that you could get on the court? Like, when did I think I was gonna? When coach they, when coach came down and put me in, I didn't know until then. Uh, I'm always ready to play, just ready for an opportunity whenever it may come, and able to make the most of it today. John, you guys were plus 13 in the first half when you were in. What, what do you think changed in that stretch? I just tried to like come in and bring enthusiasm, and I mean Jared did a good job of it. Dakari, when he was went up, in with us, um, we just played well. How did the three feel from the corner? And, and it looked like that was like a transition thing where you stationed yourself in that left corner and waited. I came off my hand good, felt good. I just, we shoot every day, so one of those things. John, has there been any frustration at all this year when you decided to come back for that last year of eligibility and then you had to play as much? No, not at all. I'm, I'm ready to play each and every game. I bring it every day in practice, and I have no regrets about coming back. Uh, I liked it a lot, you know. Uh, I just felt like more comfortable while I was on the line, and uh, we've been practicing and practice a lot, just uh, and individual workouts have been uh, changing up my routine. So uh, I just changed up a little bit today, and uh, gratefully, all three of them went in. Were you surprised at all that you guys weren't able to really pull away in that second half? Uh, I wasn't really surprised, you know. This is a tough place to play, you know. It's a real good team, so. We knew they would uh, come out and fight, and we just tried to keep on fighting. Dakar, you, you mentioned changing up a little bit on your free throw. What exactly? Uh, yeah, there's a little hitch uh, in my shot when I was working out with uh, my assistant coach, Kenny Payne. You know, he said there was a little bit of hitch. So we just worked on just uh, changing on the up to a one motion shooting. So just going up in one motion. All right, I think a couple of games ago, you said you were comfortable coming off the bench because it gave you a chance to see what the other team was doing. How do you adapt? Uh, you know, just coming in with energy, you know, that's the main thing. And just trying to get off to a good start to help my team. That's the main thing I'm just trying to do. John, you've seen a lot of these road games. You've been a part of a lot of wins. How difficult is it to get away enough from the Mississippi State? I'm anywhere in the SEC. Well, Coach told us that they were 3-1 and one in this building. Um, the one lost to Florida, and they had them down. And any place you play on the road in the SEC is always a, a good win if you can come out with one. I mean, no matter how you get it, you play bad, and it's still a win. John, that was a play <coughs> in the first half where one of your guys, I can't remember who, shot and missed, stayed, got the rebound, and you took it away from him. Can you describe what happened on that play and how much hustle was a factor today, do you think? I mean, hustle's a factor like every game. It's just we brought it a lot today, and and – the guys were able to come in off the bench, like myself and Jared, and um, help these help these other guys out, bring enthusiasm and energy, and we we got to win over a, a good team. John, when he talks about you've been around him now a while. When he talks about coaching like he's young again, saying he's more hands on. He's coaching like he's 35 years old. Do you see a difference in him? He's more vocal, if uh, if you guys will believe that. But he, I mean. More yelling, more screaming. Um, we're old enough. I mean, 18, 19, 20. I'm 22. I'm old, but we we know what we're supposed to do now. We understand this the, at this point in the season, and and he's he's starting to amp up the intensity. Or did you guys come into this game with uh, some confidence after beating them once before? Is it difficult to beat a team twice? Oh yeah, it's real difficult, especially you know uh, we played them first down at Rupp, so. You know, we knew they were going to come down here. It's their home court, you know, and they were going to come out hot and uh, play their hardest. So we just tried to uh, match their energy. And gratefully, we had guys like uh, John and Jared to help us out. You know, they're real veterans, and they show leadership out, leadership out there, hustling and stuff like that. So I'm just proud they did that for us. John, when Coach comes down in the first half and tells you to go in the game, what exactly, what sort of instruction goes on? What sort of message does he, what, what happens there? Uh, he just, he came down and told me to go in. I mean, I understand what that means. I mean, you go in, you play hard, you bring enthusiasm. I mean, it's, it's what you're, what you're supposed to do as a guy coming off the bench. You're supposed to, you're supposed to give a lift to lift and enthusiasm, energy and, and hustle plays. And that's, 
that's what the guys off the bench did today. Kurt, what sense do you have of just the way Cal felt about anything? Was he happy with the, guy, the way you guys played? Was he happy with how hard you played, or was he happy with more of uh, you know, he was happy he got we got the win, but uh, you know, there's always stuff to correct. You know, he was asking more. You know, he's just very intense. You know, he's gonna want the best out of us all the time. So you know, he was just very intense today, and he wants more. But we're happy we got the win on the road. For either one of you guys, State seemed to do well in transition early on. Was there, was there an emphasis on that at all during the timeout or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean. If you go back to the Missouri game, that's where they hurt us. Uh, they hurt us in transition, and then we we cut down on, on the next game, and Ole Miss's transition points. They only had the three late in the game, and then we come in here and just kind of drop the ball a little bit in the first half and about hustling back and, and forcing guys to their weak hand. And um, there's timeout, halftime, we, we cut that out. We got instructed to uh, hustle back. and. That's what we did. Uh, I think it's no, I don't I don't know. I mean we we shoot a lot of free throws as a team. Um, we fouled quite a bit today. Guy foul out, but I mean, anytime you're in the bonus team, a good team is going to take advantage of it, like Mississippi State did.